Hey there, folks, and welcome to another episode of the BRO Reloading Bench. I am your host, Wade Rush, and like I promised in the last episode, we're going to be talking about the extremely versatile 32 caliber single alt. That's right, 32 cal single alt. It'll go places the 33 caliber will not. Y'all stand by. Okay, key components in today's episode, once again, are the uh, Chidite new primed hulls. Color does not matter. If you happen to have some of the Fiocchi with the 616 regular primers, also works with this data. If you have the Magnum primed hulls, we'll talk about that here in just a minute. Stay tuned. All right, this is one of my favorite rounds that uh, I use in my Stoger. This is the round that I hammered that old big nanny with over uh, in the last week of November. Hit her with seven pellets, I think it was, that Rachel uh, saw at 70 yards. That's right, hit her right through the boiler room with seven 32 cal pellets at 70 yards out of my Stoger with the butt kicker standard full choke. Matter of fact, I'll show you a little video clip of that right now. Okay, boys, there's a lot of different variations of ways we can do this, but my best performer, best performer in this is with the Hodgton long shot. That is right, Hodgton long shot, of which I'm about to run out of. Okay, 28 and a half, 28.5 grains of Hodgton long shot in the new. Chidite or Fiocchi if you have the standard primer in them. If you've got the the uh, Fiocchi, the new Fiocchi holes with the Magnum primer, the new Fiocchi hole with the Magnum primer, you use 27 and a half grains. 27 and a half grains with the Magnum primed Fiocchi. New three inch Chidite is what I'm using today, primed. Yes, the blue powders do work well in this load, but that's for another episode. 28 and a half grains of long shot. Ballistic Products White Lightning Wide. First season that I have seen these, and we have been thoroughly impressed. Nearly everybody shooting my reloads over at the club this year took white tail deer with reloads with this wad installed. That is correct. That is not an exaggeration. Uh, and by the end of the season, I think all members of the club were having to shoot the reloads because there was no ammo available anyway. And that's why, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm scrounging around now, putting together stuff. I'm even using recovered stuff that I've gotten out of uh, damaged, bad crimps. Anyway, recovered rounds. I'm using those components and those those powders now and all that because I'm almost out of everything else that I've got or that I had. Hopefully things will get better as the uh, year progresses and stuff will come back into stock. Anyway, white lightning wide. I have a Federal 45 thousandths 20 gauge overshot card. 45 thousandths Federal. This is new old stock, but that's what it is. It's a 20 gauge 45 thousandths overshot card. I press that into the bottom of the white lightning wide to make it flat inside the wide. Over our 20, 28 and a half grains of long shot, install our white lightning wide. Now, with the long shot powder, I don't have to trim the wide, but I have found that even in some three inch guns, you guys may run into this, that's why I want to mention it now. In some three inch guns, like the Frenchie, Franchi, however the, you guys pronounce it, if we don't trim this 
white lightning wide by about an eighth of an inch. The round is within the cartridge over all length specs, but they have trouble climbing the ramp and loading and going into battery sometimes. They don't want to throw them into battery. And that has been virtually, the, 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 the Frenchie has been virtually the only gun that we have seen that run into that problem. I think Heath's yield is had uh, one time, but he said that his gun was so filthy that uh, it looked like he'd been dragging it through the desert, although he was dragging it through the swamp. But anyway, what we're going to do here, we don't have to using the long shot powder usually, but I'm going to show you what I do anyway. These are really, really tough wads, but I take my trimmers, and there's no measurement to do. I only It's only about an eighth of an inch. I just want to make sure we got plenty of room here. So we're going to take our snippers, and we're going to cut off about an eighth of an inch. Now, you see, we've got a guide to use now to get all the rest of them. That is just to make darn sure that this will not bind up in anybody's shotgun. Now, whenever we're using the blue powders, we have to trim it. Have to trim it to make sure we got the cartridge overall length where it needs to be. Okay. Like I said, we took about an eighth of an inch off. That's all. We put that overshot card in there to make the bottom flat. It's just a little slightly dipped in the TPS style wads here. The only one that isn't is the TPS cushion wad. And me and some buddies, uh, Roger Adkins, man, I appreciate your research too, buddy. Uh, we're we're working on some stuff to make these TPS cushion wads. One of the main reasons being is, is Ballistic Products has been getting rid of these things by the 4,000 case, 4,000 TPS cushion wads. That's right. And we were having consistency problems, but me and some of my buddies here, we're working on that for you guys, and we're going to have some data that we're going to be making public here very shortly this winter. We'll be making it. Uh, this stuff keeps working out like it's uh, like we're progressing right now. We're going to have some really good news for the consistency with that TPS cushion wide, and we'll be sharing that data with you good folks. All right, let's finish getting this thing put together. Okay, boys, and... Now, you notice we're using a full-length wide now. So what that means is you could put raw pellets in this thing or untreated pellets. You can use your powder-coated if you like. That works out well. We did. We have taken deer with uh, with all, all kinds of stuff. But here, what I'm doing, these 32 cal pellets here are just polished. These were 12-plus hours in the rock tumbler, in the Harbor Freight rock tumbler, treated with nothing else. We're in this full length wide. I didn't treat them with anything else, and they have been performing outstanding, just being polished like this. Real smooth all over. Didn't have to put a jacket on it. That's good news for a lot of don't have to put a jacket on it. So we're gonna stack 14 32 cow pellets in here by twos. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and 14. See, right to the top of the wide, right there. And we're down about a half an inch, which is what we're looking for, especially when we're roll crimping. You can, yes, you can star crimp these. Um, the roll crimping, especially with the bigger pellets, you'll find you will not dimple your hull. When you cam over, and these presses sometimes has a tendency to dimple these big pellets, dimple the hull. When you roll crimp, you got a lot more control over that. When you, you fold this plastic in and it makes contact with your overshot card, you can watch it, you can feel it, and it you can stop before you dimple this hull up real bad with your big pellets, talking like your quads and triple alts and double alts and stuff like that when you're loading conventional style, like we have to with those pellet sizes there. All right, we're going to cover with BP Original. You can also cover with uh, the precision spherical in the full length wide. If you can't get or BP is out of buffer, you can use the precision buffer. All right, just 
cover the pellets. Segmented overshot card. Okay, it's been a few rounds, so we hit it. Just hit it with a little bit of petroleum jelly. Absolutely beautiful round. 14 pellets of 32 caliber smashing. And uh, they flat work. Boys flat worked on some deer and some coyotes with these things this year. Okay. And well, dang, Wade, I can't get to white lightning wides. Is there anything else that will work? Hey, how about that? I'm glad you asked. Yes. There's, there's a lot of other things that work. Nutridite primed 28 and a half grains of long shot now Gualandi makes some outstanding wads Let's see if I had both which when I'm talking Gualandi you've heard me talk about the MG42 You've heard me talk about the Gualandi Super Mini. So, and like I said, you guys see how prepared I am. All right. And like I said, I'm having to dig way down in here. I'm running out of stuff everywhere. The same powder charge, 28 and a half. If you're using a standard primer, 27 and a half. If you've got the Fiocchi. Magnum, if you got the Fiocchi Magnum primed hulls. If you look here, both of these, this is right here, on the right is the Gualandi MG42. This is the Gualandi GSM, Gualandi Super Mini. I'll give you a close up. I think I got some pictures to show you a real good close up. Only difference, really, see, is the uh, MG42 style. The, the, the standard Gualandi 12, GS12, is longer than the Mini. And in a lot of instances, that helps us, that gives us a little more capacity in the hull to get these bigger pellets, like the 32 caliber. What we're going to do here is I'm going to load up a load with 14 pellets using the TPS uh, style white lightning. If you have standard TPS wads, identical same data, same configuration works very very well you will find okay we're going to put together one with white lightning Gualandi Super Mini and the MG42 or GS12 uh, of the Gualandi wide and we're going to shoot all three of these down at the range all three with 28 and a half grains of long shot and 14 pellets of 32 cal single off okay Gualandi Super Mini is the green, little green wide. You see, I've already pressed it down in the bottom here. 14 pellets, just the polished 32 caliber. Just the polished 32 cal. 14 pellets are stacked by twos. Well, 13, 14. A little extra room in here. When we use the Super Mini. BP Original. That's the buffer in the blue can. Cover our pellets. Clear overshot card. I done run out of my bingo cards. Now I got me a pile of clear overshot cards, so I'm using them. They work equally well for us. All right. Very beautiful round. MG42, 
works equally well. No, I, I don't have to show y'all every time everything that we do, but this is how what the MG42, the Gualandi, using the Gualandi wide style looks like. That's how that works. Same data, same hull. Fioki Magnum primed 27 and a half grains of long shot. Same stuff. Works equally well. Stand by for the range. Okay, folks, welcome to the 32 caliber video range segment. This is the round that's in my belt. This is the one that most of the boys at the club are shooting to. This is the 28 and a half grain of long shot in the new Chidite primed hull. 30, 14 pellets of polished 32 cal, not treated in anything else, just 14 pellets of polished in the rock tumbler. We've got, uh, this is in the, uh, the Gualandi Super Mini with original buffer. Now we've got, we've got one that we use the, uh, we shoot the Gualandi Super Mini, the MG42, and I've also got one, I didn't, I grabbed the wrong one here. This got, uh, this got the white lightning wide in it. I need to round it up. Anyway, we'll get to first shot. First shot is with the Gualandi Super Mini 14 pellet 32 cal. And this is one of my favorites right here. We continue to be at 50 meters or 55 plus yards. And that's with the little short green quality super mini, and they're usually available. You can find those till folks find out how good they perform, and they'll disappear too. Let's see what all what we got on paper here, boys. We got uh we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine right there from here. Well, oh, missed one in the bull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I did. There's nine right there. One, two, three, four, five, six that I can cover with my closed hand right there. The other three right there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, or fourteen. Unless we have any double hits, I don't see any. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 13 or 14 out of all short green Gualandi Super Mini. All right, we're going to shoot the MG42. Then I found my white lightning load. We'll shoot it last. That's the one I actually killed the old big doe with, was the one with the white lightning wide in it. Y'all stand by. Okay, folks, what I did at the bench, I put together the MG42 round with the 14 pellet in the Magnum, the Fiocchi Magnum Prime hull. We have 27 and a half grains of long shot. In this round, with the full length Gualandi MG42 wide in it. And it's all covered in original buffer. And uh, let me see, just the polish, 14 pellets, 32 cal. Magnum, Fiocchi Hull, Magnum primed, 27 and a half grains of long shot with the MG42 wide. I've got a star crimped around that I'm gonna shoot for you here. They usually build a little more back pressure and have a slightly higher velocity. Whenever we uh, shoot the same load, Gualandi Super Mini, but this one is star crimped instead of roll crimped. I'm going to shoot that one last for you guys. Eleven ninety-seven, right at twelve hundred foot per second. Okay, boys. Oh dang, we got a double strike in the bull. Wow. Let's see, that being the case, we got one, two, three, four, five, six that I can cover with my hand right there in the center of the paper. What do we got on paper? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen again. Thirteen, that could be number fourteen right there or here. But that's a double strike in the bull. 
see the consistency that we're getting. This is every time, folks. This is every time. Okay. Um, I've got the white lightning rod, and then we're going to shoot the, the 14 pellet with the Gualandi Super Mini. Again, star crimped instead of roll crimped. Y'all stand by. Okay, boys. Same data. White lightning wide in here, 28 and a half grains, a long shot, and a standard Chidite new primed hull, roll crimped, bingo card. Uh, I think that's that's everything. We were having a little trouble with the chronograph, but while it's ready to read, we're going to shoot. Twelve thirty. It just has a little more pop. Let's see. We got. I must have may have pulled that one a little bit low, but it's not. You know, deer's heart size of fist. So all of this is really close. Let's see what all we got on paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, a fourteen. Eleven or fourteen with the white lightning wide. We got one more, the Gualandi Super Mini in a star crimp, 14 pellet round. Let's shoot that one. This is a once fired Fiocchi, three and a half inch that I cut back to a three inch. Fiocchi 616 primer, 33 grains of blue dot. That's right, 33 grains of blue dot. The Gualandi Super Mini, the little short green wide and 14 pellets of 32 caliber polished pellets, all covered in Ballistic Products Original. We star crimped this one. Ten thirty-two. Boy, that's, that's some good performance set right there, ain't it, boys? That's a good one to end on, ain't it? Let's see what we actually got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of fourteen. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six right here in a ten inch circle. Seven, eight in a eleven inch circle. Nine, ten here in a 14 inch circle at 55 yards. Those little green wads, those little Gualandi Super Minis were available last time I checked at uh, both Ballistic Products and Precision Reloading guys. Get by there and get them in a hurry, all right? Well, that's gonna wrap this one, boys. We'll see y'all on the next one. How about that stuff? Appreciate you boys riding along with me today when we're talking about the, the versatility that we can get out of a 32 caliber single lot. And uh, Marty, appreciate it, my brother. Uh, he's working hard. You guys that are ordering from Marty's Arms, it's taking him a little bit, a little while, because just like everybody else that's making reloading supplies and making reloading equipment, they are swamped, absolutely swamped with orders, and they're not a big operation. They're a small machine shop. And they are working night and day to get your orders out. So just be patient with them, folks. They are some really, really good folks. And they will get your orders out. And you won't be disappointed with what you get and your performance. This is Wade, host of the Bubble Round Tree Outdoors channel. Hope you all enjoyed the video. We're going to be coming back with a lot more in this series. In the next episode, we're going to be talking about the extremely versatile 31 cal single all 31 cal single all that's another one that my stoker absolutely loves and there were more deer taken this season with the 31 cal single all and the new 285 that'll be for the following episode uh here on bubble round tree outdoors y'all stay tuned
It's Marty with Marty's Arms, and you're watching Bubba Roundtree Outdoors.